dear students now we are going to see a, another problem on projection of solids now we are going to concentrate on pentagonal pyramid they are given your base side as 25 mm and your length has been 50 mm see they are told that one of his base edge has been resting on hp and axis is parallel to vp and it makes an c when its base makes an angle 45 degree to hp be clear students here they are given your base has been inclined 45 degree okay not your axis now it has been your base so first i am going to just click your polygon command okay so number of side has been 5 so enter your side as 5 i am going to draw by your edge method so e enter i just clicked your pentagon first point and i have just entered your side as 25 since it is a pyramid students so first i am going to mark your alphabets on a pyramid problem we need your center so be careful so first text your type type your text as your as your first a point i'll be just making a move over here with your move command and i'll be just placing nearer to your corner point this is my first corner point okay next i make a copy this is my b point c point d point and your e point so similarly i have your x point your o so i have to just double click it and change it as b similarly over here it will be your c d and your e your apex point will be your o now just change it to point 35 clear students now click your line and draw your projection lines this is your first point even from your o point also we have to draw your projections clear since it is a pyramid problem your axis is very very important students so we have to draw your axis so first i have drawn your projections clear then they are given your axis height as 50 so first i will be changing your line to center line i will be just picking your line from your axis it is been 50 50 0 enter okay now once again change it to by layer and draw your lines so from apex point or here here to this point clear students so on your base points we need your projections so what you are going to do is you are going to draw as a discrete lines you are not going to draw a continuous line we are drawing a discrete line just select your points and just change it into your line thickness as 0.5 sorry 0.35 i just selected all your points and i changed your line thickness as 0.35 okay now i have to mark your alphabet students so here it will be your i am going to view from this direction so it will be a a b c will be visible whereas your d and e will be invisible so just pick your text over here it will be your a dash on your bracket it will be your e dash okay just make a move over here and place it over here this is the first point make a copy and you will be having another point over here and another point over here see i have to draw a line i just missed a line so i just clicked your line once again from this point i have to join it over here so this is your another point so this is also visible edge so it will be 0.35 so just double click this and change it as b dash d dash then over here it will be your only your c dash close your text editor just click the c make a copy and paste it over here that will be your o dash so we have drawn your front and top view next i have to make a copy of this so what i have to do is i have to just select this entire content 
click copy and just click as your base point and move it and just place it ok now they are given your base is being inclined to 45 degree ok so just select your entire thing click rotate this is your base point students it is 45 so see the base is being inclined to 45 degree since it is being closer to your diagram I will be just moving away from your diagram so once again click move and just place it bit away from your diagram see students I have to just draw your projection lines so this is my first point so once again from your B point then from your C point ok now similarly I am going to form a horizontal projection first I will be completing your base next I will be coming for your O point ok so just from your D similarly from your E similarly from your C point from A point and last from your B point so mark your alphabets so make a copy of this so here I will be having your A point B point C point here I will be having your D point and at last your E point just edit it B C this will be your D point and your last will be your E point ok see students the base has been opened on this direction so I have to view from this direction so what happens your D C B will be visible your A and E will be invisible so just check your tick your uh, increase your thickness of your line as 0.35 just click your line first point to second point and third point ok whereas this point will be invisible so I will be just clicking as hidden line once again line just join these two parts clear students now I will be getting your projection line for your apex point so from line I will be just joining so this is your O point make a copy O point so I have to join with your lines see students so first click your line change it into your line thickness as 0.35 your B visible your O is also visible so join with a continuous line ok your C point is visible O point visible similarly D point visible your O point is also visible clear so when you are coming for your E point your E is invisible so I have to join with your hidden line so from E point to your O dash similarly from your A point to your O dash so we have drawn your projection students next we are going to mark your dimension just click linear and just click these two points just click linear select these two points select proper area so you will be getting your dimensions ok it is your bilayer and your line should be also bilayer ok next I have to mark your height so just click linear from this point to this point just zooming it so it will be easy for us change it to bilayer 
your dimension also bilayer <coughs> click linear next your base angle forty five degree. So with this I complete the diagram. Thank you for your listening. We can meet on your upcoming lecture on projection of large Thank you all.